Ladies and gentlemen, what's up? Once again, we're boy Ned from Nez Tech, but today we're looking at this Tom Tom that I got for about two bucks at a secondhand store. Very nice little pouch. Seriously, does anyone actually use pouches like this in the carrying case? Seriously, does anyone use these carrying cases? Very nice to have, very cool. But what I want to look at and what I want to particularly appreciate is these GPS, is the fact that I can get a GPS used, don't have to pay any service fees or anything for it. And I can get one of these for less than I could get a standard USB charger new. Okay, this one's used, but still. It's so expensive. This thing ha came with a one amp charger and I bought it because of that. Nobody's interested in these things anymore. They take like way too much time to start up. But I remember when I first got my first GPS and I started doing uh, side roads to see if it would get the names of the streets right. No, oh my God, it did. It knew exactly where it was going and all that fun stuff. And it was amazing when GPS was a new thing. I don't think any of the new kids, I don't think any of the, I don't think any of the younger kids would have any idea what it's like to drive around some huge metropolis you've never been before. And all of a sudden, you're lost and you don't know where you're going. And you don't know where you are on the map. So many family arguments based on, based on where you are. The road is supposed to be right here. I'll never forget that argument. The road is supposed to be right here. And then, and then, uh, and then Marie's mom walks out into uh, the middle of a field, and it turns out they didn't really know where they were. Man, that's the most frustrating part of the trip. Where are you going without ever knowing the way? But these days, we don't have to worry about that. We have GPS. Yes, ooh, that battery's getting a bit plump. See, see, folks, these guys know how to do it. Terminate your frickin' speakers, okay? Get little ends on them so I can figure out what's going on. So the shielding here will be over the main chips. I gotta find, I gotta get a Dremel ready to get through that stuff easily enough if I need to. All right, luckily enough, I found a torque small enough. That's the problem with torques, man. So many different ones, and you only use them so rarely. But if you're a tech these days, you got to have torques. You have got to have the torques. Oh, it lifts right off. Very nice. Man, this is so cool. I can actually get all this back together. But seriously, the technology in just 10 years, I can't believe... I can't believe the technology isn't as important as it used to be especially for gps let's see if i can get those heat shields off all right check this out we got an arm chip in here maybe i should have assumed it would have one i expected that to be more in cell phones but i guess this is mobile technology right got an sec 804 BN75. What do we got over here? UN. I can't really put paint on this stuff. Even if I get the paint off, odds are I'm not going to see it. And what do we got here? Hammerhead. Very nice. All right. On the back, got some Samsung, but that's memory. Get a good shot for all you board junkies. And the magnet on the top. Anyways, interesting. Basically, I just bought this for the charger. And uh, the charger works excellent. That's it for me now from Nebstack. But it's like and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. Always appreciate it, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, as always, take care of each other.